So now I want to introduce you to two of my favorite animals here in Edmonds, anemones and sea stars. Do you remember we talked about anemones when we learned about the tides? This is how they look when you see them at low tide, but they open up and start feeding once the tide comes in. And boy, are they hungry. They eat just about anything that they can catch. Crabs, fish, snails, sea stars. It's crazy all the things they can eat. But how do they catch all these animals when they're just sitting there stuck to a rock? When a fish or an animal brushes close to an anemone, its tentacles release special cells that have a little bit of poison, and also they have little hooks that can hang on to the animal. Then the anemone pulls the food into the center of their bodies to digest it. If you've ever touched an anemone, you'll notice that it feels kind of sticky. That's all those little hooks catching on your fingers. You don't want to hurt them, so be extra careful that your hands are wet if you decide to touch one. And now it's time to learn about the stars of the tide pools, the sea stars. They come in lots of different shapes and colors. And it might not look like sea stars move very much, but they're actually fast and fierce predators. Here's a group of sea stars going after their favorite prey, mussels. And here's a clam trying to get away from a hungry sea star that's chasing it. To understand how a sea star moves, just look under the arms where you'll find hundreds and hundreds of little feet. These are called tube feet and the sea star fills them up with water to make them stiff like a really full water balloon. Then they use them to move around, like this. Sea stars also use their tube feet to hang onto rocks and to pry open shells of their prey. Once they get the shell open, it's time to eat. And this is the super cool part. Instead of putting their food into their mouths, they stick their stomachs out into their food. Sea stars have a stomach that they put outside of their bodies when they eat their prey. Once they're done eating, they tuck their stomach back into their bodies. I love sea stars so much, I wrote a song about them on my ukulele. I'm going to teach it to you now, and then we can sing it together. It's called Five Little Sea Stars. One little sea star waving at you, along came another, then there were two. Two little sea stars, what a sight to see, along came another, then there were three. Three little sea stars on the ocean floor, along came another, then there were four. Four little sea stars learning the jive, along came another, then there were five. Five little sea stars waving their arms, five little sea stars with all their charms. Five little sea stars living in the sea, under the care of you and me. You gonna say with me now? One little sea star waving at you, along came another, then there were two. Two little sea stars, what a sight to see, along came another, then there were three. Three little sea stars on the ocean floor, along came another, then there were four. Four little sea stars learning the jive, along came another, then there were five. Five little sea stars waving their arms, five little sea stars with all their charms. Five little sea stars living in the sea under the care of you and me.